Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to deploy PostgreSQL on Kubernetes. Okay. So let's start to deploy PostgreSQL on Kubernetes. So here involves creating a set of resources such as deployments, stateful sets, services, entries, and volumes, right? And here are the steps to deploy PostgreSQL and Kubernetes. Okay. So let's start. So first of all, we need these prerequisites. So running cluster, Kubernetes cluster on your local machine with Minikube and cloud provider. Okay, so we have successfully installed Minikube and so on. Okay, then kubectl configure to your access clusters and basic knowledge of Kubernetes concepts like pods and so on. Okay, now let's start to deploy PostgreSQL and Kubernetes. Okay, so first of all, here we are going to create PV and PVC. Okay, so PostgreSQL uh, SQL here, uh, precision storage, you will need this PV and PVC for storing the database. Okay, data. So for storing database data, we are going to create this PV and PVC. Okay, for what? Storing this database data. Okay, so first of all here, let's create this file. So I'm going to use my use sudo nano editor and the file name and the file is here okay so as you can see here first is this pv then metadata postgresql capacity storage one gi okay read write once okay here present volume uh, reclaim policy return and the host path okay so let's save the file and exit okay okay then after that the next file for storing database data is here okay that's for pvc and here let's paste this code here So here you can see your kind process and volume claim, metadata, name, access mode, your read or write, storage, one j Okay, let's save the file and exit. Okay. So we have successfully created these both files. Okay. Now it's time to apply this file. So how to apply? So the command is kubectl apply hyphen f and then your file name. Okay. Now if I run the ls command, as you can see the files PostgreSQL PV, PostgreSQL PVC. So first of all, let's apply PV. As you can see here, PostgreSQL PV created. Now it's time to apply PVC. As you can see, it's also created. Okay, it's done. Right. Now let's move to the second step. So the second step is create a PostgreSQL deployment. Okay. So to deploy PostgreSQL, so is this stateful set for deployment. So this ensure that each PostgreSQL pods has a stable network identity as well as stable precedent storage. Okay, so let's create this file PostgreSQL stateful dot yaml using sudo nano. So as you can see here, you can see this YAML file, a stateful set is used to manage the post PostgreSQL pods. Okay, this stateful sets is used to manage this PostgreSQL pods and the volume claim template section automatically create a PVC for each replica in the stateful set. Okay, the here, the volume claim templates. Okay, then the PostgreSQL container is using the official Postgres 13 image and initialize the database using environment variables. Okay, so as you can see here, the PostgreSQL, right? Okay, so let's save the file and exit. You can see the image PostgreSQL 13. Okay, replica one and so on the details. Okay, so let's save the file and exit. Okay, 
then the next is let's apply this file does not exist state full set Okay, sorry. There is a colon added, right? So that's why. So I'm going to remove this file. Okay, and now I'm going to recreate. Let's save the file and exit. Okay, now let's apply. Okay, it's stateful. Access PostgreSQL create. Okay, okay, it's done. Now, next is let's create a Kubernetes service for PostgreSQL. Okay, so here, first of all, to all of other application or pods to access the PostgreSQL instance, so you will need to expose this via this Kubernetes services. So that's why we are going to create this file. And as you can see in this file, first of all, API version, then kind services. Okay. Here also, columns or. Oh. Okay. Find services, metadata, name, PostgreSQL, port 5432, cluster IP num, and app is PostgreSQL. So let's save the file and exit. Okay. Now let's apply this file using the command kubectl apply hyphen f and the file name. Okay. Then next is we need to create a secret for database password. We need to create secret PostgreSQL file for database password. So it's important. So not to a hard code sensitive information like password in your YAML files, Kubernetes secret helps you to securely store and manage such data. Okay, so first of all, how to access our password? Okay, so in this file, as you can see, the file name is PostgreSQL secret.yaml file. And in this file, first of all, API version v1 kind secret data, name PostgreSQL secret type open queue. Okay. And the password is here. We need to enter our password, encoded password. So how to encode a password? So to generate our password, we need to run this command. Which command is to generate the base64 encoded password? So first of all, we need to run this command to get our password. And after that, we are going to create this secret YAML file. And in this file, we are going to add this password. Here. Okay. So let's first of all, access our password using the following command. And this is our password. So let's copy the password and paste here. And now let's create this secret PostgreSQL secret.yaml file. And in this file, let's add this data. And here, let's add your password. Let's save the file and exit. After that, let's apply this file. Okay, the file is successfully created. Okay, now it's time to access PostgreSQL. So you can access your PostgreSQL instance by port forwarding the PostgreSQL service to your local machine. Okay, so the for, uh, port forward is kubectl, port forward is vc, PostgreSQL. Okay, if you want, you can forward this port. Okay, I'm going to open a new tab. Okay, then after that, here you can see, you should not be able to connect the PostgreSQL on localhost okay, using the preferred PostgreSQL client. So alternatively, you can also connect directly to the ports. So how to connect? Okay, so first of all here, 
let's access the pods using kubectl get pods you can see the pod is postgresql when one of one status is running and the time is three uh, three minutes 15 seconds okay so here let's check the git svc you can see here postgresql and the time and the port number and let's check the pvc you can see here pvc postgresql data postgresql and so pvc you can see the status value capacity access more storage class and values right okay now to access postgresql let's run this command to access postgresql directly let's run this command and here you enter your pod name so my pod name is here and let's run this command now, as you can see type help for help now the, we are in postgresql okay You can see the quiet and so on the details okay right so it's a little bit also directly the reports okay now if you want to check the logs of postgresql then you can simply enter the command kubectl logs hyphen f and your postgresql pod name okay that's it okay so it's done right so in this session we have learned how to deploy postgresql on kubernetes so thank you for watching and i hope you understand